this is my new used vintage 1973 zinc chassis formula v race car i'm told this is an excellent way to get into racing it can be a one-man show driver pit crew and everything there's a big group of folks that race these here in a uh, Rocky Mountain Vintage Racing Club here and they race at a number of different tracks but one not terribly far from me so I picked this up in Utah this past weekend from a a nice gentleman who had it as an art piece on display in his basement. Maybe you saw that previous video I posted. Well, this is what I've been up to. Let's do a quick walk around before I tear it apart. And uh, let's check it out. Let's, let's see what I'm getting myself into. fiberglass body you can see uh, these are pretty interesting the stickers and decals that uh, signature there says Rick Rollins um, and as I understand it uh, he's a big guy big name in the car industry Big car collector. I guess he used to race and apparently is the president of SEMA now or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but FV, Formula V, number 27, that says SCCA. So this was once an SCCA registered um, race car for Formula V back in the 70s. We've got gray racing engines, signs and pinstriping by the snail. It's kind of a cool looking snail. <laughs> Wonder if they're still around. Uh, traction by M&H Race Master. Valvoline, Simpson Helmets, Williams Racing pro Products out of Kansas City. Um, got a really cool looking snorkel up here for, for the air intake. The inside is very vintage, so it's going to take a little updating. Um, this, this is all they used to, to lay on. Uh, so that wouldn't be very comfortable. I'm gonna fix that. The fire extinguisher's a little out of date. There's absolutely no seat belts. So I'm gonna need some of those. We've got our, our master on and off switch for the battery. Let's take a look at the gauges and the steering wheel. Um, so down here is our tail light switch. Turns on and off our tail light. I'll show you that. Um, power on and off. And we've got our ignition switch here. Temperature there on the left. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Focus. Tachometer in the middle. And oil pressure on the right. Fuel tank goes down here actually, underneath your legs, and way down there are pedals. Brake 
brake cylinders are down there also. Here's our shifter. Yeah. Look on that. All right, let's see what else we got. These are the uh, required wheels for Formula V. to be the type one beetle Volkswagen wheels. Buses and other things used them too. Carmen's. Um, I do have to say I don't understand this reservoir. This is an air-cooled Volkswagen engine. And this is a reservoir for for a radiator uh, overflow. not on there very well, but I, I just can't figure out what that's for. <laughs> um, here's our tail light. Our shifter. Linkage. Exhaust. Um, I'm not going to act like I know a whole bunch about these just yet, but I'm learning. And there's a great support group here and online for parts. Uh, they're pretty affordable, uh, being Volkswagen parts. This is a Lincoln pin front suspension out of a, a Beetle that is also required um, for the class. So you have to have a pretty basic um, Formula V car to participate, pass tech and, and not get disqualified, but um, also got some extra wheels off of the guy too. So when I start racing, I've got got an extra set I can swap over to real quick if the other ones are uh, not doing well uh, let's see what else can I tell you about this car well not much yet but we'll uh, be able to sh tell you a lot more once it's running and driving and torn apart it does run um, but it it needs just a little work to get it driving. It has no brakes right now. And I can only get it into reverse. And the carburetor's not hooked up to any linkages or <laughs> springs or anything. Uh, no choke. So, yeah. Um, it was a piece of art. And I'm going to put it back on the track. So, time to order parts. Stay tuned and subscribe. It's free to subscribe, just in case you didn't know. No obligations, no commitment.